Yo guys, it's your boy Annie Z here with part 3 of What If Naruto was part of the Omni Clan. So guys, where we last left off was Yaku enrolling in the academy to be with Naruto and then they graduated and met Kakashi and introduced themselves. We now see Team 7 at the training ground. Naruto and Yaku ate their food, or they ate their breakfast. Three hours later, Kakashi appears late. Kakashi notices that Naruto and Yaku are not hungry, so he realizes that Naruto and Yaku ate whilst Hosuke didn't. Hmm, it seems that Naruto has inherited your intelligence sensei and Yaku is also naturally talented. What a good match for Naruto, Kakashi thought. Kakashi personally never liked Memo or Mito because they, they reminded him of Sasuke. So team, today we will be doing the bell test, Kakashi said. Kurama, do you know anything about this test? Naruto asked. Yeah, kid, it's all about teamwork. Just make sure you and Yaku work together and you'll pass. The council will pass Sasuke either way, Kurama said. Okay, Kurama, Naruto said. Hey, Yaku, this is a teamwork test. Kurama has told me, Naruto whispered. Okay, Naruto, we'll work together then. Hopefully that Emo doesn't pass and we'll be free of him, Yaku said, hating Sasuke. Oh yeah, Yaku, what happened to Usher and Indra, Naruto asked. Oh, they didn't reincarnate. The cycle ended because you were so strong that your power itself destroyed, destroyed Ashra, which resulted in Indra being destroyed because they were cursed to fight each other. That's the whole reason they reincarnated, Yaku said. Good, they disgust me anyways. They had everything, they had the family and everything, but they threw it away because they wanted things to go their way. But when it never went their way, they started to fight instead of compromising with each other, Naruto said. You're right. That's why the only children of brother that I like are the tailed beasts, especially Krama, the cute fox, Yaku said. Kakashi then explains the rules. Start, Kakashi said, as he put out in Icha Icha Paradise book. Oh, hell no, he's not underestimating me. I mean, me and Yaku, Naruto whispered as he saw Yaku glare at him. Whipped, Kurama said. Naruto, don't forget he's a journey and we're again in. He has every right to underestimate us because he's our superior. Plus, he doesn't know that we're god tier beings. But I agree, let's show him that we are not to be underestimated, Yaku said. I need to impress Yaku. I'm going to show her that Uchiha power, Sasuke said out loud. Ew, I hope you fail, you stupid Uchiha. And that member as well. You both disgust me. If you want a girl, go and get Sakura, Yaku said as Naruto silently laughed. Sasuke was shocked. This girl didn't like him. Him, Sasuke, the last Uchiha, the one that every girl wanted. Sasuke gets angry and charges at Kakashi, thinking it was his fault because Kakashi was making him look bad by not taking him seriously. Kakashi dodged all of his punches and kicks, and then he kicks Sasuke towards his teammates who dodged. Sasuke felt sad that Yaku didn't try to catch him. Sasuke then did some hand signs. Faster, fireball jutsu, he said as a small fireball rushed towards Kakashi. Kakashi just dodged because it was small, and then body flickered behind Sasuke. So disappointing. It's smaller than a Rasengan, Kakashi, Naruto and Yaku all fought together. Defeat in Jutsu, 1000 years of pain, Kakashi said as he shoved the finger up Sasuke's ass. Sasuke then let out a huge moan. Oh no, they're not I'm bisexual, Sasuke thought. Yaku then fell to the ground laughing as well as Naruto. Wait, did he just moan they both thought as Naruto got scared being on the same team as Sasuke? Yaku got happy because this meant that he might finally leave her alone. But if he ever went for her Naruto, she would kill him. Sasuke then fell to the ground out of pain and pleasure. Then Naruto and Yaku both caught Kakashi off guard and punched Kakashi sending him flying. They were both suppressed as they didn't want Leaf to know their true strength. Yaku then used a wind bullet jutsu at Kakashi as Naruto used his black fireball jutsu surprising everyone. Kakashi then body flickered out of the way as the wind bullet combined with the fireball destroying half of the forest behind them. Impossible Kakashi said. Kakashi was left while he died and frozen in awe and shock. Suddenly both Yaku and Naruto used this opportunity to get behind Kakashi and get the bells ringing it signaling day one. Sasuke saw this and watched Naruto's massive black fireball. How did a demon get this power? I deserve it. I need it. To kill him, Sasuke thought. Congratulations, you both passed but due to the council's orders I have to pass Sasuke as well. Sasuke, you need to work on your teamwork like Naruto and Yaku did. It's no wonder your dead loss would keep a memo. But Naruto and Yaku, you should have included Sasuke in your teamwork as well. Even if you don't like him, Kakashi said. As if, Yaku said to herself as Naruto just chuckled. Kakashi then dismisses everyone. Kakashi is now with Hiruzen. Ah, Kakashi, so how is Naruto-kun's team? Hiruzen said. Well, the Uchiha is bad. The reports on him being a prodigy was fabricated. He is as good as those civilian kids who pay to pass and have no talent. But Yaku and Naruto on the other hand are amazing. Their teamwork is undefeatable. They can even take on the standings in teamwork. Yaku is smart but hates Sasuke but loves Naruto so much. Naruto is neutral but I can see he dislikes Sasuke. But there was one thing of Naruto that amazed me. He's able to use the Amaterasu naturally, Kakashi said. 
making Hulzen go wide-eyed. This power could be a great asset to Leaf. I see, well keep an eye on that team. They're the most likely to defect. That's the reason why we have our best Jonin teaching them. Not to defect because of what the villagers have done to him and his siblings have done to him. And Yaku will follow him because she loves him. And Sasuke would defect for power and out of jealousy of Naruto, Hulzen said. But then sir, wouldn't it be great to move Sasuke to a different team? No, because you're the only one that could teach him of the Shangon, and you're the only one that would train Naruto fairly. Okay, so Team 7 now does the rank missions. Nothing eventful happens other than Naruto and Yaku trying to avoid everyone, as they are annoying as hell. We now see Team 7 in Hokage's office. Ruzan was telling Kakashi to decide on which D rank mission they should do when Sasuke got pissed. I'm a true elite. I demand you give me a better mission so that I can get stronger, he said, but then fell to the ground in fear. What should you talk to, boy? I'm Huza Sabatobi, the god of Shinobi, not some little council members who you can expect to kiss up to you. I'm the Hokage. Next time you act like this, I'll have you in a breeding factory. Understand? Because that's all you're good for. You're a disgrace to your clan. You don't even have your shine gun. You might not even unlock it, Huruzen said. Oh, please do it, Yaku said, wanting to get Sasuke out of her life. As Huruzen laughed at Yaku's hatred towards Sasuke, he too was developing a huge hatred for Menma and Sasuke, as they were spoiled pieces of shit. When Jirai and Snadi get back, he was going to put them on direct missions for not humbling Menma and Mito. Lord Hokage, may we please have a high ranking mission, or at least a C ranking mission, because we've done the required amount of D rank missions, Naruto asked. Well, at least someone shows some respect, and yes, Naruto, can you may. I wish all ninjas were like you. And we please send Asna in, Huzan asked. Naruto, can I'm going to reward you tonight, Yaku thought, and said to him quietly so that only Naruto can hear. Nothing sexual guys, they're only 12 so yeah, I don't condone that underage shit. Tazna then comes in as he sees the team. What's with the emo bastard Tazna says when he sees Sasuke who gets pissed off? And what's with the pale Tazna was cut off when someone appeared next to him with a kunai on his neck? Never speak of Yaku like that again or you'll die by my hands. Not to say with the Omni gun activated but only so that Tazna can see it. I understand, I'm sorry Lady Yaku, Tazna said as Naruto put down the kunai. That's better, you should learn some gratitude old man, we're the ones that are protecting you, show some respect to us. Well at least to me, Yako and Kakashi, Naruto said. Hey you, demon, you forgot about me, Uchiha elite emo prick said. Like I said, me, Yako and Kakashi, this emo prick, you can do whatever you want to him, Naruto said, pissing off Sasuke, but he can't do anything because he's too weak to attack Naruto. We now see Team 7 going to the land of waves, when Yako, Naruto and Kakashi notice a senpai, I mean a puddle. Yaku and Naruto nod at each other and Kakashi noticed this. So these two have already noticed the puddle. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from Sensei's son and his girlfriend, Kakashi thought. Kakashi walks past the puddle acting as if he never saw it. As soon as the brothers popped out, the demon brothers, and was about to ambush Kakashi, Naruto and Yaku appeared with a natural speed slicing off their heads. Kakashi then goes through the demon brothers' things and finds the kill Tazna mission request and also finds out that Gato hired them and everything. While this was happening, Naruto and Yaku sealed away the demon brother's heads into the scroll for bounty money. Alright my cute little Genin, I'm going to send the Hokage a message that this is a A rank mission and then we will proceed. It will be the Hokage's choice if he wants to get back up or not, Kakashi said as he summons a messenger dog and gives him a message to send to Lord Hokage. Yaku then sees the dog. Naruto, I want one, she said. You sure don't you want foxes? They're your favourite animal, Naruto said. Yes, I want one fo I want foxes, but there isn't a fox something, so I want a dog something, Yaku said. What about a cat, Naruto said. No, I want a dog. If there isn't foxes, then I want dogs because they're fluffy and cute, Naruto, uh, Yaku said. Yeah, but they're dirty and they can't look after themselves, Naruto said. But dogs are more loyal, Yaku said. But a cat can also be loyal and they can keep the creepers away, Naruto said jokingly. As they argue in their mindscape until Naruto lets... Yaku win because he knows that it's impossible to beat your girlfriend in an argument. Hey Kakashi, can you add me to this cute dog summons? Yaku says. So you want to summon the dogs? Kakashi said. Yeah, she wants the weak dog summon, Naruto says, as Krama explained how weak they are. On the way, Kakashi and Naruto were arguing. They're not weak, Kakashi said. They are, Naruto said. Yaku doesn't get involved because she only wants it because they're cute, not because they can fight. You're telling me that dogs will be more useful than a dragon phoenix or a white tiger, Naruto says. No they won't but those summons are myths my Genin. Be more realistic, Kakashi said. Suddenly a blade comes flying towards Kakashi. Kakashi, Naruto and Yaku get down but Sasuke's arm is cut off clean 
because Kakashi couldn't tell Sasuke to get down since they were in a heated argument. Leave a hashtag one armed Sasuke down in the comments below. Zabuza senses Yaku has the highest chakra, even higher than Kakashi. Since Naruto's chakra is so high, it's unsensible, so he never knew that Naruto had the higher chakra than her. So he aims to kill her with the kunai, but Naruto stops the kunai with his chakra in his hands and then punches Zabuza, sending him flying into the trees. That kid's a bigger threat, Zabuza thought to himself. Zabuza then picks up his swords and he rushes towards Naruto, who dodged all of Zabuza's attack using his passive instinct ability. Zabuza gets annoyed and then uses the mist jutsu to try and make it so that Naruto can't see and then tries to slice off Naruto's head but was surprised when Naruto dodged it. Naruto was then dodging all of the slices that Tazna was throwing at him. Who is this kid? This movement shouldn't be possible. It's like the unreadable, he said. Yes, passive instinct is like ultra instinct. Zabuza then did some hand signs. Water style, water dragon jutsu. Naruto then did fire style, fire dragon jutsu as a black fire dragon. The size of the Kirin came engulfing the water dragon and heading straight towards Zabuza, leaving him near death. Naruto was about to finish him off, but then Haku came and did the semblant thing. Thanks, I was tracking this one, Haku said. Naruto knew he was a fake and was about to kill Zabuza, but then he felt a hand on his shoulder and it was Yaku. Don't take the fun out of the mission, Naruto can let them heal, Yaku said, as she kissed Naruto on the cheek. Haku then leaves as they proceed to walk to Tazuna's house. I demon, why didn't you block the attack for me and Uchiha Lee? Now I've lost my arm. Do you know how much of a loss that is for the village? Sasuke said. Naruto has ignored him. Shut up, Sasuke. You'll give me a headache, Yaku said. Sorry, Yaku, Sasuke said. Ugh, you're so annoying. Just be quiet, Yaku said. We now go to Tazuna's house. King san was talking. You do know Zabuza's not dead, my cute Genin, Kakashi said. Here we do, Yaku and Naruto fought to each other and smiled to each other. Oh man, I don't have the chakra, just I would have been able to sense them, Naruto said, pretending that he never knew. That's why dogs that's why dog summons are good. They could track them down easily, Naruto, Kakashi said, reviving the argument. Well, don't you need something that has the smell on it so you could track them, Naruto said, shutting up Kakashi. Naruto then takes out Yaku. Kakashi then takes Yaku to teach her dog summoning as Naruto was with them since chakra tree walking and water walking. Naruto then sees the hand signs that Kakashi uses. Naruto was about to do the hand signs, but then he passes out as he sees something. But guys, that's all for today. Peace.